yes hello guys welcome to this video series electrical plan design using autocad mep yeah now in this video we are going to simply explore autocad mep and we're going to take a look at how it's different from the other versions of autocad i mean the normal autocad okay so this is autocad mep 2018 that's what i'm using but it shouldn't be any different from the later versions there's a slight improvement but almost all the features which are here will be the same as ones you find in autocad mep 2022 okay so we're going to go ahead and start a drawing from we could use a template here okay, so just like all the other versions of autocad we have this part with our templates so we are going to go ahead and use uh, using this one here okay, I can't seem to navigate to it okay so we'll be using this one a card I saw named uh, plot style or DWT all right so <coughs> okay so yeah just like any other uh, version of AutoCAD, the first thing you ought to do before you start drawing or anything is to make sure you're using the right units. You first have to decide whether you're using inches or millimeters. So let's go ahead and check that. Uh, simply type units on the command and uh, it should be up any minute and check to see that you're using millimeters so the template i just selected has a default of millimeters and a precision of zero and zero because that's actually what i want you to, to work with so if you need to create your own templates check out my other playlist engineering drawing with autocad you can check the link in the description right so this one already has millimeters and precision zero so that that is what I need so I don't need to change anything here and so for all the other things you can do uh, actually let me move this here in the middle and make it smaller okay to create more space yeah now uh, if you need a different background obviously you can just type options for that window to show up so just type options and you have uh, all those settings over here file what to do with file display open save publish and so on but uh, you can check these ones out uh, on your own so what i'm interested in is the display uh, so you can go under colors and decide whether you want it white or black or gray or whichever color works for you so you click apply and close and you see the background changes to black or to the color that you have chosen okay so there are other things here that you can uh, play around with uh, like the cursor size you can choose to make it bigger or smaller depending on your preference and you can choose to make these disappear the start and you know the name of that drawing you can make it disappear by simply uh, clicking that file display file tabs uh, if, uh, you click apply then it will disappear so even if they've disappeared by accident you can always type options and come back here and check it out okay yeah. there are uh, so many times where uh, people get stuck with uh, missing tabs and so on okay but usually you just type options and press enter then uh, you can look for most of them over here the missing tabs and all that so let's go ahead and reactivate them click ok yeah at times the command window disappears 
how you, you close it accidentally and you uh, usually you try to type something and it doesn't even show up on your keyboard so because you don't have the command window so what you do there just uh, press control 9 it will reappear control 9 to close it okay then control 9 it reappears as simple as that and at times this uh, ribbon disappears usually because you've uh, clicked this so the ribbon disappears so if you want to bring it back on you just uh, click that it will reappear uh, at times you can play around with these to make it uh, smaller or disappear completely so usually uh, everything is right there just that you don't know where to find it so you just uh, keep on pressing that until you know the ribbon comes back okay alternatively there's a command that makes it disappear you just type ribbon uh, and ribbon close okay it will disappear completely so to bring it back you just type ribbon then okay. just ribbon and it, it will come back okay, uh, okay. so uh, the other thing is if you're going to work with uh, drawings like uh, you, you want to use the line tool rectangle tool uh, all these basic 2d drafting uh, things here tools uh, AutoCAD comes with about uh, five workspaces five or six there are actually six workspaces so what you do is you make sure you are using the right workspace for drawing because here we've got architecture uh, I was switched to electrical uh, we also have HVAC okay so there's HVAC if you want to uh, draw uh, fittings for heating ventilation and air conditioning then uh, it's best to use that workspace as you can see in the home uh, ribbon we have the duct duct fitting uh, pipe and so on and so forth okay so we also have uh, the piping workspace uh, that is if you want to show where your piping is uh, in the building uh, the flow of uh, you know uh, mostly for plumbing purposes okay so we have uh, plumbing so I'm not going to go into these other ones there's also schematic for when you need a schematic uh, diagram uh, but for this we are only going to use architectural and electrical in this video series so with architectural we'll be uh, designing a simple floor plan of a building a residential building and then uh, when we are done with that design we are going to look at how to add electrical symbols then show the connections the circuits uh, then create a a panel schedule a lighting schedule if you want but we just make it simple we just create a panel schedule uh, the rest you can figure out on your own okay so uh, for the purposes of 2d drafting you switch to the architecture workspace just like i did and say you want to draw a line uh, like that as you can see i'm working with very minimal you know information there's a polar 710 and an angle of zero degrees so at times the default is uh, default times you have a default of if this is enabled then what you're working with is something like this you have a lot of information on your screen uh, especially for people who are working with a very small screen this could get uh, tedious okay uh, yeah you, you might get confused at times might confuse those markings with whatever you're trying to draw so you sometimes you want to have very minimal information as you draw um, 
by that I mean the captions that are showing up on your screen they might appear messy so you want to turn them off so for that you just go to uh, you just go to polar uh, sorry tracking settings and then uh, dynamic input disable that and also you want to work with maybe incremental angles of five degrees so you can change them as you see fit i usually work with incremental angles of five degrees i don't use any additional angles but in case you needed those you just activate that and add the new angles if you uh, as you see fit but i don't work with any additional angles also i work with tracking all polar angle settings so for more on this you can check out that uh, uh, my other playlist engineering drawing uh, with autocad okay all right so and the other thing is at times you want to uh, work with the grid uh, for for very small distances okay as you can see this grid line doesn't cater for these distances like eight these are eight millimeters or two millimeters okay so at beyond this point we can't see our grid so at times you want to work with that uh, so the trick is very simple you just go over here to grid settings and yeah there's a grid spacing of 10 so usually it's at a default of 0.5 so you use 0 0.5 for both x and y so you do the same thing here 0 0.5 so it's going to be equal space same for x and y okay so that is the only trick there click ok now you can see the grid beyond those very small points okay so that means from here to here that's going to be 0 0.5 of a millimeter okay yeah you can actually see that 0 0.5 0 0.5 that's one then 1.5 two uh, about 2.5 uh, approximately three okay so just in case you need to work with a very small grid that is what you do all right so uh we'll see now to change the background color uh, how to uh, make some grid settings and then uh, polar track uh, tracking settings as well then i've shown you around uh, the workspaces that we have so if you're doing 2d drafting you switch to architecture when you want to add electrical symbols you switch to electrical so we'll get to work with this workspace uh, in, in, in a couple of videos to come. Okay, but otherwise everything else is the same with the other versions of AutoCAD. So you can check out that playlist for more on 2D drafting.